Hello and welcome to DAC.io. My name is Peter and I'm with DAC.io. It's a platform to remotely monitor and view devices or machines. It can help you collect and analyze all your measurements from distributed sites. Since we have close ties to the test and measurement industry as well as industrial automation industry, we provide a LabVIEW toolkit, which is also the easiest way to get started with DAC.io if you have LabVIEW installed. The LabVIEW toolkit has a variety of features, so you can of course upload all time series data, um, you can use events, but it also supports local buffering, which is built in for devices with intermittent internet connections, that's crucial. And here in the middle of the page, we have a download link that directly opens VI Package Manager when it's installed on your computer. Uh, please note that you need VI Package Manager 2014 or newer to use this. And in VI Package Manager, um, in our case you will see it's already installed, but otherwise you would have to click this green button to the left and it will install the package in your computer. It'll only take two or three minutes max and then you can come back to the website. When you're on a website, now it's time to sign up for your free account. So this is the sign up window. So just enter your email address, the password, and uh, your password again. So this is a very typical sign up procedure. With your free account, you can upload up to 50 megabytes of historical data, and you can try out DAC.io as long as you please. Just contact us whenever you need more data available or you wanna resell the services to your customers. Once you have confirmed that you're not a robot and you click sign up now, you'll be logged in to your account. And once you're in the account, you can go back to LabVIEW, go to help, find examples, and that opens the example finder. In the example finder, search for DAC.io or DAC.io and then open the machine example. The machine example represents a typical application of DAC.io. So this VI would actually run on the machine, on a compact Rio or on an embedded PC. Run the example and log on with the credentials that you just signed up with. Once you click log in, you will notice on the left that it will present a connected status. And then you can go through the different um, tabs. It will automatically create a device for you, which is a centrifuge. Um, each device carries tags. So these tags are unique identifiers for the device. For example, they could indicate a location or a serial number. So I changed Houston to Austin and uh, we'll change the serial number. The most important part of course are the channels. The channels are the actual measurement data that you're continuously monitoring and logging. In this case, we monitor the temperature of a bearing in the centrifuge as well as the rotational speed of the shaft. We also monitor CPU and RAM consumption of the embedded computer. On the next tab, you will see events. In this example, they're generated automatically. In real life, they most likely would be linked to digital IOs. And then on the last tab, on the next steps, it'll just um, give you an idea of what else you can do with DAC.io. Now that LabVIEW is pushing live data, let's go back to the website. Um, when we refresh the website, you will see that LabVIEW auto-generated a device for us. Unfortunately, it has a pretty long name because it is based off of your MAC address to make it unique. Um, you see a couple of options on the device and we start with configuring the device and giving it a shorter name. On the top, you see a name and a button saying rename device. We'll just call it my LabVIEW device for now. Hit enter and scroll all the way down to update the device. Click the update button and here we are, much nicer. So in order to see the live data, we need a dashboard. That's why we go over to the dashboard tab and create a new dashboard. In the dashboard editor, you will find a variety of tools and gadgets on the left side such as charts, labels, numeric indicators, and radial gauges. We just put in a radial gauge and um, change some of the settings. First of all, we wanna display the temperature. And then you can change the theme. We have a variety of themes built in. Let's 
find a nice one and change the color. And of course, the most important part is to link it to the device's channel. See, there is a device type that is auto filled in and there we can select a channel and we wanna link it to temperature. So once we click that, it'll automatically link it to that channel. Let's add another gadget. In this case, let's add a horizontal chart. Um, a chart can be a bar chart or a line chart um, and it can have multiple channels. So let's monitor the CPU and the RAM. We click Add Channels, we add another channel, hit OK, select Line Chart instead of Bar Chart, and we're done. So we click Done, and it'll bring us back to the dashboard view. Going back to the device, we actually need to select the dashboard we just created. So we just click it and go down and update the device. From the device view, we could also look at the events or historical data, but let's go back to the dashboard to see the live data. And when we open up the dashboard, you can actually see the live data coming in. So what's happening in the background is LabVIEW is uploading data to DAC.io. DAC.io is both presenting the data live on the website, and it's also putting it into the historical database, which is continuously storing and archiving the data you put in for later analysis. When you hover over the data points in the chart, it will display their current value. Going back to the device view, you could also go and see the events that have occurred or check out the historical data in the data viewer. Thanks for watching. Feel free to try out DAC.io and connect your devices to the Internet of Things today.